Originally I wanted to do an episode on terraforming, so I built a concrete farm, a dripstone farm, built a weed biome, fixed the nearby rivers and built a temple to house the map of it all. But then I got a better idea. Horses. They are not that interesting, but I will make them interesting. I want to build the best racetrack. I already got the horse, now I need some space and the racetrack itself. Let's see how it works. Yeah, that's still boring. What if we time it? Let's build a start section here and a stopwatch next to it. So how does it work? If you see here you will notice that it might as well be magic, I have absolutely no clue. But I can now time my horse. That was still rather boring. But we can make it more exciting by getting a faster horse. How does breeding work? When you get two horses, you can use a golden carrot to breed them. The child will then get the average between the two parents and one hypothetical randomly generated horse. So if we breed the fastest horses with each other, we can in theory get better and better horses. So I built a stable and then bred them outside because there was more space. I also raised every horse to get the time and if we repeat that long enough, we should get the ultimate gigachat horse. And their name is Apollo, which can race the track in less than 33 seconds. We have a good horse, but I can still make it more interesting by making the track prettier. So in Siena there is this horse race in the middle of town and it looks really cool and really dangerous. But this is Minecraft, so it will be safe. I planned some buildings and placed them in Lightmatica. Now I can build them. This side looks great. This side, however, is a bit empty. I can fix that by building an even larger building in the background. That turned out well. Now what's missing is the ground and the soundtrack. I built a soundtrack from Ford v Ferrari, the objectively best racing movie. And I'm pretty proud of this section which plays uh, a short melody 19 times and the trick is whenever it runs through one time one of these stones gets moved into the other dropper and once this is empty I remove this block or the piston removes this block and then the melody stops and I continue with the next section and then we have this short clock here to return all the stones into the other dropper and the rest is just tons of note blocks and repeaters. So let's test it out. Now I only need to finish the plaza, brew some potions of swiftness and we can start. <laughs> 